From the Southern Kentucky Festival of Books, I'm Barbara Deeb, joined now by illustrator Mark Wayne Adams, and yes, it's called The Fart Fairy, book and audio CD. Well, we had the butt that went psycho in the earlier segment, so it makes sense that we're going to talk about The Fart Fairy. <laughs> but you're an illustrator, and, and right. I, I'm always intrigued by that for someone who doesn't have that particular talent. And I'm also always surprised when we talk with the authors about the fact that they, they don't necessarily get to choose who illustrates their books. Correct. And so, you probably have certain writers that you enjoy working with more than others. Yes, most of the authors that I work with are independent or they own their own publishing company. So it's a different process working with those authors because they, they're vested in the product. So I usually interview them, bring them to a Barnes & Noble, have them select their five favorite books from their childhood, and then five new books that appeal to them. And the reason I do that is I compare the two types of books because as a child, we gravitate to a certain author or a certain mm -hmm. illustrator. And then as an adult, when we see a new product that we haven't seen before, a shape, a texture, and that's what makes the new books even better. Because you have a little bit of the old and a little bit of the new bling that comes with yeah, it. So, and yeah, and gotta have that bling. Now you have illustrated over 37 picture books. Yes. You're award winning, over 50 awards related to those things. So as you, you were alluding to a little bit ago, it's all about the picture in many ways, especially right. when you're dealing with this cohort with younger people. Yes, well exactly. Um, a lot of people don't consider when they write a picture book that the words are secondary because most readers of a picture book um, are not strong readers yet. So the illustrations accompany the text, and it supports it. And a lot of people don't consider that. Um, if we didn't have the word fart fairy on that book cover there, you would kind of know what was going on. Because he's in a bathtub, there are bubbles coming out. You get the picture right away. So a, little, a small child about five years old walking up to one of these tables will see a little boy in a bathtub, and they'll know automatically what's going on. Well, they all know what's going oh, yeah. on. You know what's going on too. You brought your journal book and this yes. is something that you say is so important and when you go speak to classes and to schools, right. you encourage children, write it down, put it there, exactly. journal, yes? Um, yeah, when I was in third grade, um, I asked my mom for my first journal and it's it was blank like this and she told me no because there were no words or pictures, I probably wouldn't learn anything. And wow. so I begged her for this book and I came home and I was doing things like this inside the journal and my mom said I didn't see that. I said I see that all the time, you know? And once she saw what I did with the journal, I never had to ask for another one. So she always kept them. And also what's great about it is for kids, I have over 52 of these and they're all lined up in my house on a bookshelf. So I can go over and remember everything I've ever done, how I felt as a kid and you know, as a child you feel totally different than you do as an oh, adult, yeah. so, but it's really amazing to read back through your past in your own handwriting. Well, and that shapes who you are today. Right. What's oh, yeah. ahead for you? What's ahead for me? Um, I have eight new books that come out this year. Um, I'm writing a novel series, uh, six novels, illustrated novels, and I'm also on the board of the Florida Authors and Publishers Association. So I'll be president this year of that organization. Congratulations. Thank you. You're a busy man, and we appreciate Thank your you. taking time to talk with us. We've been talking with illustrator Mark Wayne Adams. That's going to wrap it up for this segment of Outside the Book, coming to you from the 2014 Southern Kentucky Festival of Books. I'm Barbara Deep. Thanks for joining us.